This is a bow version of my uh, double conversion FM pulse counter receiver. Right, we shall we shall turn it on, and this is the short hand uh, tenor, and we'll uh, demonstrate demonst the performance. This is another Sunday repeated on Wednesday programme and uh, it promises to be fairly chaotic in that This paper, is Radio uh, 2. David Bowie will be taking up the second part of the programme with a host of... And that must be a tension that having read your previous books, that must be a tension that you've encountered before. Radio 3. This idea of writing down the things that maybe shouldn't be written. There, there's a real reputational Radio risk four. in that the forces that the intervention brigade are likely to attract, you know, we're not talking about nervous... <laughs> BBC Two's formerly Radio Cleveland. So, Dry FM. Force against Al Qaeda in the Maghreb. Then I think we have a different kind of risk, which is the uh, risk of retaliation. Translated from the very radio file again in the poems. Sonnets simply kind of expand upon what's in that epigraph. But also, I use little bits of John Clare's rough notebooks as epigraphs too, just to show you how. To Right, that's with the short antenna. Let's try the large antenna, the outdoor one. Much stronger and clearer signal. Radio free again. And one of the things that I know about are birds' nests, and we've never been able to make birds' nests, but poems to me and Romany, like. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's Leeds. In a very ineffective hey, very good. So let's say radio leads. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad at all. From the room and into the air. Mike Smith, who listens online in Calgary. Hey, very good for teams. Almost can get rid of the background. The green side. And, uh, Mike comes back from time to time. Uh, Jan says, uh, I used to... That's the local Harrogate station, so uh, we're at JFM. Yeah. First of our instrumentals, and the first Indian flame. Paul Moss is in India for the world tonight. And Emmett Sales Heath. Marmot is a comedian by Mark. Uh, Pritchard on guitar. Now, Mark is with a group called Arnold Corns, who have a single called Moon Age Daydream, which nobody on the BBC has played at all, which is a great pity. And uh, my house hoves over, hauled by invisible horses. Shades right. shift around me. 
demonstrated the performance so far on this receiver. It has rained speech marks down the windows. Right, valve lineup. Front end. ECF 82, pentode section mixer, triode section oscillator. The second converter, ECC 88, one triode section mixer, and second section oscillator. And its function is to convert the 10.7 megahertz IF frequency, which is converted from that valve, to 250 kilohertz, which is the function of these three valves here. IF amplifier, first and second, third and fourth IF amplifier, fifth IF amplifier, limiter, all ECC 88s, these three, 6AL5 double diode, which is a voltage doubler detector, which is known as a frequency to voltage converter. Right, the valves at the back, we have a, a, a green panel because we've had a problem with RF in interference in the past configuration of this tuner. It's an ECC82 line dri driver just there. I'll lift the chassis up. ECC82 and an EL84 output valve. And this is all the underside circuitry. It is all sort of like a, uh, uh, a Bider's web nest a bit, but the wiring is very well soldered and uh, it performs great. Other improvements could be an RF sud age, and that would probably just improve the sensitivity a bit more. And the possibility of getting the design working properly in Sir uh, Rodario, which is going to be featured in our next video of this uh, version of the tuner. I'll reconnect the aerial again and just go through the performance. Writing poems. I think you have to give yourself away completely. <laughs> This is also to be a featured project, hopefully in June, on my uh, featured webpage uh, www.philsvalveradiosite.co.uk So look out uh, for the link and it will be on and there will be a link from YouTube.